Good morning friends, welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In the last video, I have discussed two classes in the list interface such as stack and linked list classes. I hope you have watched that video. If you did not watch that video, I request you to go back and watch that video and come back to this video. In this video, I want to discuss two more classes in the list interface such as array list and vector. So I sincerely request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. Coming to the array list, already we have discussed about the linked list. First, let me discuss the basic difference between the array list and linked list. Linked list uses the data structure which is double linked list. In double linked list, each node will have three elements. One is address of the previous node value and address of the next node as you have the address of the previous node and the address of the next node you can traverse in both the direction means in the forward direction and backward direction so with the help of movement in both the direction you can display the elements in for, uh, in forward direction and also in the reverse direction and also you can add the elements at the first you can add the elements at the last you can get the elements at the last you can get the elements at first all these things are possible however array list uses the array or i can say it uses the resizable or global array so you can add the elements in a proper sequence or you can add the element at the particular index okay you cannot add the element at the first you cannot add the element at the last similarly you cannot get the element from the first and you cannot get the element from the last all these things are not possible so these are the basic difference between the array list and linked list now let me discuss few theories theoretical concepts related to the array list array list uses the resizable array resizable array or growable array and it initial capacity is the initial capacity of the array list is 10 now if you are added the 11th element what will be the new capacity or new size new capacity is equal to old capacity okay old capacity whatever the capacity into 3 by 2 plus 1 okay suppose if your initial capacity is 10 and if you have added the 11th object then what will be the new capacity will be 10 into 3 by 2 plus 1 10 into 3 is 30 30 divided by 2 is 15 so 15 plus 1 is 16 so this is the way the new capacity will be computed similarly if you have added the 17th element the new capacity will be 16 into 3 by 2 plus 1 like that we will compute the new capacity by default okay and the insertion order is preserved what is the meaning of insertion order is preserved whatever the way you have inserted in the same way the elements will be displayed null element can be added null element can be added heterogeneous elements are allowed to store and similarly uh, what you can say duplicate elements are allowed duplicate elements or objects are allowed so these are the basic theoretical concept related to the array list now we will practically discuss about the array list and what are the methods are there in the list interface related to the array list okay so i will go to the desktop java programs here i will kick new text document and i will write here array list ex okay dot java i'll click s open this one with notepad plus plus now here i will write import java dot util dot store because you know that all these classes are there in the java package under the java package you have util sub package in that package it is there so class i will write here array list okay ex then i will write public static void main string args then i will create an object for the class called array list okay array list 
some list is equal to new array list okay end with semicolon now you can verify is the list is empty or not as we have not inserted any elements so the list is empty so i will can use a method called is empty method okay if list is empty then it will return true so the if condition will be true the statements which are there in the if block will be executed so i can write system dot out dot print ln i can write simply array list is empty okay let me end with semicolon let me close the main method let me close the class now i have saved the program let me open the command prompt you know that all our programs are there in the desktop java programs and then i will write java c array array list ex dot java there are no errors let me run java array list ex now you are getting the output as array list is empty now we will discuss how to add the elements in the array list we can add the elements in the array list using two methods one is add method you can provide the object or the element and another one is you can add the elements or the objects using add method here you can provide the index and also the object then what is the difference between these two methods are here if you add the object it will be appended to the already having the objects in the list okay whereas if you use this index and object at particular index suppose if i provide index as 1 and object is 10 the object 10 will be inserted at the index 1 only okay we will discuss practically this one so i will write here list dot add 10 i will write list dot add 20 i will write okay then what is the meaning is at the zeroth index you have 10 at index 1 you have 20 now what i am writing list dot add i want to add 100 at index 1 okay so then what will happen is 10 is there then at index 1 100 will be there then 20 will be there now if you want to display the output you can write system dot out dot print ln the elements the elements in the list is okay let me use the concatenation let me write list okay end with semicolon let me save now i'll go to the command prompt i will compile the program again now you are getting a warning what is that warning array list ex dot java uses unchecked or unsafe operations okay however you can run the program but i will discuss how can you remove this warnings also okay first let me run this program and show you the output the elements in the list is 10 at the zeroth index 100 at the first index and then 20 at the second index okay now how can you remove this warning is you can provide what kind of objects you are storing okay i am storing the integer so i will write here integer okay then that error can be removed okay before that i will add duplicate elements is it allowed or not you can see list dot add 20 i will write then list dot add 20 i will write now what are the elements will be there 10 100 20 20 20 okay if you want to see the output you go to the command prompt again compile the program now see you are not getting such warnings now you can run the program java array list ex the elements in the list is 10 100 20 20 20 okay now we can discuss about the get method okay the get method is useful for you to provide the object at the particular index you can provide the index the element which is there at that particular index can be displayed then you can ask me sir if an element is there at the multiple places means it is a duplicate element i want to find the first occurrence last occurrence then any such methods are there yes we have a method called index of method if you provide 
a particular object the first occurrence of the object will be provided if you want to find the last occurrence then you can use the method called last index of then the last index of that particular object will be displayed okay now let me show the program by writing some statements okay list dot uh, sorry system dot out dot print ln the element at second index is the element at second index is I will write plus list dot I can write here get at index 2 so I will provide 2 then you can see what will be the output okay or we can copy this one and you can use the index of and last index of also the element 20 is at okay i can use here index of okay i can provide the object 20 similarly i will copy this one and paste here the element 20 is at list dot last index of okay now you can see get at index 2 what element is there at index 2 20 object is there so that will be the output index of 20 it will give the first occurrence where the 20 has occurred first time at the index 2 and last time where it has occurred at index 4 so this will give the output as 4 if you want to verify let me compile the program okay now there are no issues let me run the program see we got the output as the element at second index is 20 the element 20 is at 2 second index the element 20 is at the fourth index so this is the output we are getting i hope you have understood this one okay now what we will discuss is we will discuss about the remove method means if you want to remove the particular objects you can provide here index okay at that particular index the particular object will be removed okay now you can look at here Re i can write here system dot out dot print ln okay the removed element is i can write the removed element is or object is okay i can provide list dot remove okay and at index 2 20 is there that will be removed and then if you want to display the elements okay what is that the let me copy this one and paste it here i will write the remaining elements system dot out dot print ln the remaining elements in the list is okay now let me run the program there are no issues now you can see the output initially the elements are 10 100 20 20 20 now you have asked to remove the element at the second index so the removed element is 20 the remaining elements are 10 100 20 20 okay now can we add the null element look at here list dot add null okay see what will happen now let me run the program now you can see okay null has been inserted at last the element at second index is 20 the element 20 is at second index initially means the first occurrence and the last occurrence is 4 the removed element is 20 and the remaining elements are 10 100 20 20 null okay so this is about the remove method now we will discuss about the set method what is the set method will do we will discuss it will take two uh, what you called two parameters one is the index and then you need to provide the object okay what will happen okay suppose if i provide set index one and object is thousand then what will happen look at here the remaining elements we got the output as 10 100 20 20 right 10 100 20 20 
null okay now at index 1 what element is there 100 in place of 100 1000 will be replaced that is the meaning okay set will replace which element it will replace at the index 1 it will be replaced by 1000 okay if you want to verify you can write here list dot set okay one i will write thousand and then i will write system dot out dot print ln um, let me copy and paste this one okay the elements is now you can see the output okay see First, we got the remaining elements as 10, 100, 20, 20, null. Now, the elements is after using the set method, we got 10, 1000, 20, 20, null. I hope you have got the point. Even we can use the some more methods like contains, okay, size, all of them also we can use, okay. Look at here. I will write system.out.println. I will use the method okay list dot contains 20 is the element 20 is there or not yes it is there if it is there then it will return true okay look at here oh we forgot to add one more braces let me save it let me compile the program again now let me run the program now you can see the output at last we got True. Suppose if I write 200, 200 object is there, it is not there. Okay, now you can see the output. So we will get the output as false because that 200 object is not there. So that's why we got the output as false. Okay, if you want to compute how many elements are there, okay, then you can use the size method. Okay, let me copy this one and paste it. Okay, the number of elements in the list is the number of elements is okay i will write list dot size method now how many elements are there that will be displayed how many elements are there look at 10 000, 20 20 null so five elements are there so it will give the output as five the number of elements is five so this is about the array list class now we will discuss about the vector class okay look at here the vector class is an implementation class of the list interface okay so first let me discuss about the vector the vector uses the resizable array or growable array okay and then vector works in the same way as array list but however it is mainly used for synchronization okay so vectors are synchronized this is very important so where we will use the vectors are whenever we want to do the synchronization then we will use the vectors vectors are synchronized what is the meaning is that suppose let's take that you have a vector multiple threads thread is nothing but some part of the program okay so multiple threads are using the same vector one thread is performing the read operation another thread is performing the write operation another thread is also performing the write operation if two threads are performing the write operation at particular time then this thread can be one thread can be weighted meaning is that suppose look at here i will discuss with a simple example okay you have a bank account in the SBT bank. Okay, I don't want to reveal the original bank name. So that's why I have written as SBT bank. In SBT bank, you have the account. Okay, let's take that you have balance of 10,000 rupees. Your mother has depositing. Your mother is depositing 5,000. Okay, and your brother is what you call withdrawing 3000 now both are performing the right operation at the same time in your account okay then inconsistency may be happen but if you use the vector then what it will do is that when this right operation is happening this right operation will not be executed so 
first already you have 10,000 rupees, then your mother is depositing. So, plus 5,000. Then your balance will be 15,000. Then it will allow you to your brother to withdraw. So, already 15,000 balance is there. Then your brother is withdrawing 3,000. Then the remaining balance is 12,000. So, now the consistency is achieved. For 10,000, if you had 5,000 and if you subtract 3,000, it will be 12,000. So, consistency will be achieved if you perform the synchronization. So, that can be achieved with the help of vector. Okay, so it is a resizable array or global array. Duplicates are allowed. Insertion order is preserved. Null element can be added. And then we have two constructors in the what you called in the vector. One is that you can provide okay vector with initial capacity. Okay, initial capacity you can provide or if it does not provide any capacity, the default capacity will be considered. However, if you write 100, then 100 elements can be added. Okay, and then next it will increase. Then if you provide another constructor vector, okay, initial capacity is 100, then if you provide 10, then what will happen is that when you are adding the 101 object then the new capacity will be 100 plus 10 which is equal to 110 like that suppose if you have provide the initial increment is 20 or the in capacity is 20 then once you have added the 100 element then if you are trying to add the another one then it will become 100 plus 20 which is 120 like this it will work okay so the only difference between the array list and vector is arrays cannot be used for synchronized but vectors can be used for synchronized okay now we will discuss this one practically by writing some programs so i will go to the java programs and here i will click on the new text document and i will write here vector ex okay vector ex dot java let me click yes and then open with notepad plus plus then here i will write import java dot util dot star end with semicolon then class vector ex okay then i need to write public static void main string args okay then i need to create an object for the vector class so i will write vector sum v is equal to new vector okay end with semicolon now let me provide the initial capacity 10 okay now i will write here see what are the methods are there in the array list same methods can be used for the vector also first i will verify is the vector is empty or not okay so v dot is empty okay then i will write system dot out dot print ln and i can write vector is empty okay where is the program yeah vector is empty now let me end with semi oh sorry curly braces curly braces because i am closing the main method and then i am closing the class let me save the program and then go to the command prompt compile this program which program uh, vector ex so let me write java c vector ex dot java okay there are no issues let me write java vector ex okay now you are getting the output as vector is empty okay now if you want to know the initial capacity then you can write system dot out dot print ln you have a method called capacity look at here okay so what i am writing the initial capacity or the capacity is okay i will write v dot vector uh, sorry i'm really sorry so the capacity is i will write v dot capacity method okay now let me save this program and now let me 
compile the program and now let me run the program now you got the initial capacity is 10 suppose if i provide the initial capacity is 3 and the size can be increased by 4 then look at here first what i will do is that the initial capacity you will get it as 3 here now okay now i am adding some elements so how can i add the elements using two ways one is add method you can provide the object and the next one is you can add one at a particular index the particular object whatever the object you want to insert now let me discuss that one so first i will write v dot add 10 okay v dot add 20 okay v dot add 30 okay then v dot add at second index i want to add 300 then what will happen is that at 0th index you have 10 at first index you have 20 then at second index you are adding 300 and then 30 will be there okay so if by this time you have 10 20 30 only but now you are trying to add the 300 object at second index now initial capacity is 3 okay now you are adding the fourth element then what will be the new capacity 3 plus 4 7 okay now you can write here system dot out dot print ln the new capacity is okay now you will get the output as 7 if you have a doubt look at here let me compile the program we are getting this warning i think you know by this time okay how to handle this one you can provide the type of the object see the initial capacity is 3 the new capacity is 7 if you want to display the elements then you can write system dot out dot print ln the elements the elements are okay elements are then you can write simply the v or even you can use the for each iterator list iterator enumerator all these things okay already i have discussed okay now let me save this program and let me compile it okay now you got the elements are 10 20 330 now if you want to remove okay you have the remove method with the help of particular index you can remove or even we have another method remove all that also we will try okay and even we have the clear method also all these things we will try one by one okay so i will write here system dot out dot print ln the removed element is the removed element is this one you know we already discussed in the array list okay i will write remove and i will provide the index at second index what element is there that i want to remove at second index what element is there 20 is uh, sorry 300 is there that will be removed okay then you can display the elements the elements are okay i can write here the remaining elements are let me save this program okay let me compile the program let me run the program oh we have run the array list that's why we are getting this output okay java where to x see this is the thing okay here we are running the array list okay so that's why that output we are getting we have to run the vector ex here i have compiled the vector ex only okay the capacity is 3 the new capacity is 7 the elements are 10 20 303 30 the removed element is 300 because we are trying to remove the element which is there at the second index so it will return that element and then remove so that's why we have got the 300 and then 300 has been removed then remaining elements are 10 20 30 now if i use the clear method what i can use v dot clear then what i am saying it will remove all the elements if you see is the list is empty or not now okay or the vector is empty or not i can write here if v dot is empty okay then i can write system dot out dot print ln empty we'll see because we are saying that all the objects will be removed we'll verify now empty and with a semicolon now let me compile the program let me run the program 
now see we got the output as empty so what it is doing it is clearing all the objects in the vector v in place of this clear if i use the remove all what will happen we can see remove all method okay is there such method or not we can verify it is saying remove all required collection no arguments okay so it is saying all the particular collection of elements we can remove so we will not try this one okay it will make much more complex i don't want to face that issues okay so if you want to display the elements we can display the elements using for each enumerator all these things we will discuss now i will try with for okay so you can ask me now sir you have not provided here integer you have not provided a string then how can it display the objects using the for each then you can provide object p then a vector v then you can write here system dot out dot print ln okay system dot out dot print ln i can write p then look at here what will happen the elements will be displayed now they are objects okay java c array list ex then java array list okay oh we have array list one this is the issue okay i should clear this one then okay now let me write java c because i need i'm always running that uh, array list example okay i need to compile and run the vector ex oh we have forgot to end with semicolon always we will get errors if we do some mistakes okay java c vector ex there is no issue now let me run this one java vector ex okay now you got the elements are 10 20 30 like this you can display the output if you remove want to remove this uh, warning you can provide either integer or string so that you can specify what kind of objects you want to store however heterogeneous elements are also uh, can be added okay now i want to discuss about the enumerator method how can you uh, display the elements using the enumerator method we have already discussed about the iterator and list iterator now let me discuss about the enumerator so i will write enumeration okay and then i will provide here integer okay some en is equal to v dot elements okay end with semicolon then i can write while okay v dot has more elements okay this is the method to verify whether some more elements are there or not when we have used the iterator and list iterator we have used the method called has next okay the same way this method also will work it will verify whether some more elements are there in the vector or not if it is there i want to display them so system dot out dot print ln we have used the next method to display the element in the iterator and next iterator but here you can use the method called next element method okay so that is the difference between the enumeration and then iterator and list iterator okay now let me save this program and now let me compile the program and let me okay what happened error cannot find oh what is the mistake we have done here we should write en okay not v that is the mistake we have done let me save this program and again compile it this time there are no issues okay now we got the output as 10 20 30 so this is the way we can display the elements okay i hope you have understood about the array list and vector if you still have any doubts related to this concept feel free to ask me in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts as early as possible thank you for watching the complete video have a nice day